you. Yesterday was the day in New York. I mean, it's not just New York, but like this is the only place I've experienced it. There is a day, the day, where after a long, dark, depressing winter where everyone has lost their mind and forgotten what it's like to feel an ounce of sunlight and happiness. There's one day that comes, typically in March. It's like 70 degrees all of a sudden. The sun is out, birds are chirping. Do you hear the birds? Listen. I hope you can hear them. It's just like they all come back out at the exact same time. And people are outside like frolicking, skipping, singing, doing flips. That's what it feels like. And yesterday was that day. I'm just sitting here. I admittedly have been rotting on my phone all day. I've been going back and forth. Me and social media are beefing right now. Um, I was doing really good a couple weeks ago. I deleted out of my apps like during the week and then I'd only re-download them on the weekend. Sometimes I feel like deleting social media makes me go 10 times harder when I re-download it because I haven't been on it for so long that I feel like I'm like deprived. It's a beautiful day. I have the window open. There's so much I could be doing and I'm just not doing it. I'm reading three books right now because I've been having a hard time getting into one book and finishing it maybe just because i haven't been reading and you kind of have to read in order to finish your book my bangs are like weirdly grown out to a length where they're not bangs they definitely could not even be really considered bangs like this right here what's going on with this this little piece that's how long they are that's not a bang that's a layer at this point but i like to have this little swoop you know that a bang would do honestly right now it's looking a little bit uneven i literally just sit here and i like pinch my little hair together with this little glue god it's so hot in here I took an everything shower, like the world's longest everything shower. I think I was in the shower for like 40 minutes, which I don't even know how much, how that happened or what time passed. I kind of came out in a trance. In the shower, I decided today is the day that I fake tan. Funny because I usually only fake tan in March, I guess. I don't know. I guess like, I don't know what people, what's the normal tanning routine? I don't know. This is what I use. Focus challenge, focus. Oh my god, there we go. But let's do our makeup. La la la. Something funny about me. I really don't know what to attribute this to, but things are very deep for me. Everything has meaning. I read into everything as a sign, a symbol. But on the other hand, yes, I am looking into things a little bit deeper than probably is healthy, but things also happen to me that are a little bit deeper than can be explained sometimes. Kind of scary. But it's true. If you watch my last, like maybe two videos ago, I was talking about feeling like I'm in this in-between space, not fully out of one chapter, but halfway into the other. Then I've been thinking about, you know, this like edge of spring concept. Spring is coming, it's here. And she sprinkles herself into little days where it's 70 degrees, but then like coming up, it's gonna be 40 degrees all week. And you're like, what? What happened? I thought we were there, you know? I thought we made it. And I mean, honestly, what a metaphor for growth in general. You grow and you're like, wow, I'm done with that, you know? Rest of my life, never gonna have to grow again, you know? Learned all my lessons. And then what do you know? Here come more. <laughs> Crazy. I read this morning. I opened up my book by the window and here's what it's talking about. One second, let me grab it. Excuse me, sorry, excuse me, sorry. Sorry, excuse me, sorry. I'm just gonna scoot right by you. sorry. Oh, sorry. Liminal space. Now this is funny because I've only heard liminal spaces referred to as those weird memes of like rooms that look very off and dreamlike. That's what I thought liminal space was in my mind. So this is what it said. Lemon comes from the Latin root for threshold. When you're in a liminal space, you're in a state of transition. You have left one place and you're near the entrance to the next, but you're not quite there yet. I was like, is that not exactly what I've been yapping about? And then she goes on. Psychologically, liminal spaces feel like being in two places at once while also being nowhere. She makes another metaphor. Being in a liminal space is like being in a waiting room with no cell reception and nothing to do but flip through last year's magazines. Not only am I going through a liminal space, the earth is going through a liminal space. Like she's done with winter. She's like trying to push her little buds through the trees and the birds are like trying to sing because we all know it's coming. You can't quite see it yet.
guys. Okay, so I know we're all tired of hearing me complain about my hair. Or I'm like kind of tired of hearing myself complain about my hair. But I just pulled out all of my summer tops from the depths of my closet under my bed. I was trying them on. It's not my hair. I love my hair. I mean, it's not as short as it has been, but it's like actually perfect length right now. And it's not the hair, it's the winter clothes. As soon, as soon as it is time to get into my summer clothes, you won't hear the end of it. You won't see the end of it. I can't wait. What else did I do today? Honestly, nothing. Um, yeah, damn, what did I do? I literally just listened to music all day. I probably spent like a collective six or seven hours just like dancing around. It was a great day. I had a great time. Let's do a snack haul of the snacks that I ordered. Oh. Oh, it adjusted itself. We got cookie dough. Safe to eat raw. Eat or bake. I'll probably eat them all before they ever make it to the oven. Next. Dark chocolate and peanut butter granola. This is so good. It's really good in yogurt, but the last time I got yogurt with it, I ended up just like eating 75% of the bag just as is. So I didn't get the yogurt this time and I'm just gonna eat it like this. Wow, this is so good. Then these, oh my God. Chamoy Sour Patch Kids. This is the perfect candy. Well, not only is it delicious, but there's a limit. Because after a while, your mouth just like starts to get too hot and you have to stop. Okay, let's try this red one. It's like chamoy all over it. They're like sticky. And then there's like tahini on the inside. Mmm. It's so good. Oh yeah, it says Best Buy 6.30, which is the day after my birthday. So these were like basically made for me. I am going to spend the rest of the night finishing one day on Netflix. Have you guys seen it? Have you seen it? Don't tell me how it ends. I think I'm on one of the last episodes, so. Don't spoil it, okay? Thanks for watching.